It's market day in this Paris suburb, which is one of the poorest areas in France. Unemployment is high, there's not much hope, and even less faith in politicians. No one here is very enthusiastic about Sunday's parliamentary elections. People couldn't care less about voting. What's the point? MPs do nothing except get well paid. Politics is basically all lies. Everyone knows that. In the first round of the parliamentary elections last Sunday, voter turnout in this part of France was one of the lowest in the country. Fewer than one in three people turned out to vote. Activist Nadir Kaya tries to encourage people in the suburbs to vote. He says it's not easy because so many people feel excluded from the political system. People in the suburbs over the years have become totally fed up with politics, with media and the way society perceives them. They just don't relate to any of the candidates. Across France, it was a similar picture. Abstention rates were the highest in decades. Election fatigue was also a factor after two primaries and a long presidential campaign. President Emmanuel Macron's movement, Republic on the Move, is looking to consolidate its position after the first round put it on track for a landslide. Macron, who spent the week meeting various world leaders, needs a majority to push through his reform plans. But other parties, including the Conservatives, Socialists and National Front, are urging their supporters to vote in greater numbers to try and force a coalition. Politicians don't like coalitions, but French people like the idea of forcing different politicians to work together. I don't think we'll see a coalition this time, but in the past it was something that worked. Exactly which candidates will occupy the 577 seats of the National Assembly will be clear on Sunday, after a vote that will determine the balance of power in France for the next five years. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, La Courneuve.